Good morning and welcome to Godly Play. We've just passed Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday is this square right here on our church calendar that has the cross on it. And it is one of the most important Sundays in our church calendar. We're now in these white Sundays, that part of the church calendar. And here in Godly Play, we call these white Sundays the time of getting to know Jesus in a new way. Let's find out more about that. This is a tomb. It's a special place where people put the bodies of their friends or their relatives after the person dies. When Jesus died, his friends brought his body to a tomb like this, and put his body in the tomb, and then sealed the entrance to the tomb with a big stone. On the Sunday after Jesus died, early in the morning, Mary Magdalene and some of her friends came to the tomb. Mary was a very close friend of Jesus. And when they got there, they found that the stone had been moved back, moved out of the entrance to the tomb, and the tomb was empty. And they were very afraid. What happened? an angel appeared to them and the angel said do not be afraid Jesus is not here he has been risen from the dead go and tell his disciples that he is alive and the angel disappeared now the two friends went off to find the disciples Mary stayed at the tomb a bit longer. She was very sad and very upset and she was crying. And then a voice came to her and said, Mary, who are you looking for? Mary thought the voice was from behind her was the gardener. But then when she listened again, Mary, who are you looking for? She recognized the voice. She knew the voice was Jesus. And she saw for herself that Jesus was alive. She ran off to tell the disciples also, Jesus is alive. He is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Later that same week, two of Jesus' friends were walking from the city of Jerusalem to the town of Emmaus. And they were still very sad about Jesus' death and the fact that he wasn't with them any longer. And they were talking about that as they walked along. Why did Jesus have to die? They wondered. Well, suddenly a stranger kept, came up behind them and started walking with them. And the stranger told them the story of Jesus and explained to them what Jesus' ministry was on earth and, and why he had to die. And by the time they got to Emmaus, the two friends were feeling a little better, and they certainly welcomed everything the stranger had had, to had had to say to them. 
when they got to Emmaus and to the to the home that they were visiting they invited the stranger to come along with them and to come into the home and to have a meal with them so they sat down for the meal and the stranger took took the bread that was offered in the meal and he blessed the bread and then he broke it and he shared it with the two friends. When they saw him do this, they knew exactly who the stranger was. It was Jesus. And they knew because they had seen him do that before. Well, the two friends were so thrilled to know that Jesus was still alive that they hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples and Jesus' other friends that they had indeed seen Jesus, that he was alive. Jesus is alive. He is risen, they told the disciples. The Lord is risen indeed. At the beginning of today's video, I told you that this time of year in the church calendar is what we call getting to know Jesus in a new way. Getting to know Jesus even though he's no longer with us. And we have these storyboards that help us to remember the stories of getting to know Jesus in a new way. and help us to tell the story. So in today's story, we heard about Mary Magdalene who came to visit the tomb. And here she is looking in the, the entrance to the tomb and Jesus is no longer there. And we also heard about Jesus' two friends who are on their way to the town of Emmaus and were joined by Jesus and broke bread with Jesus. In the coming weeks, we'll hear more stories about how Jesus appeared to his disciples and friends and how they got to know him in a new way. Miss Helen and I hope you'll join us and Hope to see you real soon. Bye.